Hi guys, this is Rajan Aroda and today we'll be solving the daily lead code problem and the date today is 6th of January. So the problem index is 1094 and the name of problem is carpooling. So let's start with the problem. There is a car with capacity number of empty seats and the vehicle only drives east. That means it cannot turn around and drive west. So there is this car and it's driving towards east only it cannot turn around it goes only in the east direction so you are given an integer capacity and an array trips where the ith trip means ith trip is actually a double of number of passengers and the starting uh, pickup destination and the drop destination indicates that the ith trip has num passengers and the locations to pick them up and drop them off from and to yeah so i am given an array where each element is having number and pick up and drop location yeah so uh, the locations are given as the number of kilometers due east from the car's initial location. Okay, so let's assume that the car is starting from 0th point and it's, it can be supposed as a number line where we are having the arrival and the, uh, sorry, pickup and the drop positions. It's pickup and the drop positions. And for this pickup and the drop position, we have number of passengers also. Yeah. So we need to return if it is possible to pick up and drop off all the passengers in the given trips or else we need to return false. So first let's understand the example. In this, we are given two trips, two trips, two, one, five, this is the first trip and the second trip is three, three and seven, three and seven, yeah. So we can draw it as a number line going east. So our first pickup point is at one. And our drop location is at 5. This is my pickup point and this is my drop location. Yeah. And our second pickup point is at 3. P2 it can be. And our drop location is at 7. 7 and it is my drop 2. These can be referred to as drop 1. And it can be referred to as pickup 1. Yeah. Uh, I'll just draw it a bit clearly. So this is my number line and this is my first location which is my P1. This is my drop location B1. It has coordinates 1 and 5. This is my second location which is P2 at 3. And this is my second drop location which is at 7. So. So the number of passengers boarding at pickup one is two. So here I get a plus two passengers and the number of passengers leaving the car uh, will be at five, like two passengers will enter at point one and will leave at point five. So while traveling, we see that we encounter three more passengers at point three. So the total number of passengers now becomes 5. So this uh, exceeds the capacity of the car. Our capacity of the car is 4. Our capacity of the car is 4. So hence we cannot use all the... Uh, we cannot complete all the trips. Right? Let's understand it with the help of another example. So in this case 
we have the same coordinates and our capacity this time is 5 capacity is 5 yeah so our pickup point is at 1 which is 1 then our drop point is at 5 another pickup point is at 3 let's drop 1 and it's yeah it's drop 1 and drop point is at 7 so uh, we get plus 2 passengers at p1 then we move forward then we get plus 3 passengers at p2 so the total number of passengers is now 5 which is already less than or equal to my capacity yeah so at point number 5 which is my d1 uh, two of our passengers leave so now the total number of passengers is three after that at point d2 the total number of passengers becomes zero because all the passengers leave the car so yes in this case in this case all trips have been completed So moving on to the logic that how we'll code this one. So we'll simulate the similar situation that we'll create, we'll create an array where we'll store all the number points. We'll store whether it is a pickup location or it is a drop location, right? So for pickup, the number of persons entering the car will be plus two or maybe or the number of passengers given that means it will be positive right and the at drop location we'll add minus 2 as the number of passengers that means that if plus 2 are entering at p1 point then two passengers are leaving at d1 point right so sim uh, going on like this if at any moment The number of passengers becomes greater than my capacity so I'll return false now let's code this one so I'll store a vector of vector mainly number line and then I'll be going through this trips array a uh, vector and push all the respective elements into my number line So I will start this according to the distance. So I'm taking my first element as the distance and my second element will be in the number of passengers entering or leaving at a specific point. So for distance, it is trips of for ith trip. It is my from point. That means number uh, that the persons are entering from this point and the number of persons is at zero at index. And similarly, I'll add the leaving point also. So my leaving point is at second index. And here the main thing is that the number of passengers leaving will become negative. It's the number of passengers leaving. So that is why we have put it as negative. After that, we just need to sort this number line array according to the given distance now I can traverse this number line array and check we'll maintain 
current variable which shows that the num uh, which shows the number of passengers currently in the car so if my current passengers plus my onboarding passengers my onboarding passengers will be number line at ith point and it will be at first index because the zeroth index is the distance right it's greater than my capacity so i'll return false else i'll just add it to the car i and if we have just completed this then we'll return true that we have completed all the trips i hope it works fine yeah so this is what we had for today thank you so much and see you next time